Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Today I want to show you how to um, how to put together a Twitter background, a custom background for your Twitter account. Uh, you've probably seen, um, you probably wondered if you don't have one already, um, people with cool backgrounds. And it's really simple, just a, a large background image. And um, I just wanted to, to walk you through some of the, the, the steps that I do to, to create um, that I did to create my background and what type of practices, best practices I think um, you should apply to your background um, just you know so that it's uh, most effective. Um, so here's my background. I have my logo um, here, a picture of myself and some some little information about who I am and some websites and let's jump over to to uh, the graphics program. You can do this um, using Photoshop. I'm, I'm assuming a, uh, you're a designer of some sort and you have a little experience uh, in designing. Uh, if not, if you can always uh, just do a search for Twitter backgrounds in Google and there's a bunch of sites out there that offers um, uh, inexpensive, I believe free Twitter backgrounds that you can grab and apply to your to your site. But if you want a custom one and you have a little experience in uh, designing, um, it's very simple. What I normally do is I start off with a canvas size. Here I am in Fireworks, and uh, you can also follow along in in Photoshop. But what I do is I set my canvas size to 2,000 by 1,200, and that's 2,000 in width by 1200 in height okay and I do that so that this pretty much covers all of the major uh, the most popular resolution sizes um, from 1024 on up to um, some of the larger widescreens okay but what I normally do here is I apply a background image you can go to iStockPhoto.com or you can look on the you can search Google for some background or you can create your own background I normally create a solid in this case this is a textured um, uh, image graphic that I have in the, to the background and what I do is I start to create some layers here or not some layers I'm sorry but a, a couple of guides and this guide here is set to about 200 so the width from the left side of the the canvas in this section here is about 200 pixels in width okay and I set another guide let me delete that this guide here is set to about 600 and so I don't want to what I do is I pretty much stay within this little section I stay within 200 in width and 600 in height and pretty much in this area you can design anything you want um, obviously I recommend a logo uh, I prefer a picture of yourself because it's always great for transparency you know whenever someone sees who you are there they have a, a sense of connection with you even though they don't know you um, they actually know who's actually speaking uh, through the Twitter, Twitter through the Twitter account and uh, I have a little information about who I am a few websites um, uh, that that I have and my email address that's pretty much it it's really simple and what you do once you have once you set this and you design this save this as a JPEG simply go over to your Twitter account go to settings go to design and go over here to change background image all you do is browse find that image that you just saved upload it and you should be all set pretty much that's what I had here and so what I normally do you, you you'll see some Twitter backgrounds that have 
content on the right hand side I like to keep mine simple because if you expand your resolution or if you're on a wide screen this middle section this middle section of the the Twitter application uh, centers and then what happens is it will cover the right hand side um, of the image and so I like to stay away from that and just keep everything flushed uh, justify it to the left and um, that's pretty much simple so it works on standard laptop um, resolutions as well as uh, larger uh, resolution so again one of the things um, that I recommend is to always include a photo um, of yourself in your background if possible and a photo as your avatar because for my personal preference when I'm browsing say if I follow you and I don't actually know you personally um, and I don't know your brand image or, or your brand or your company like this here means really nothing to me so I tend to overlook these tweets um, and I come down to to so like this guy I don't know this guy personally but because there's a picture there I know it's a real human being and he's actually writing something that could be of value to me um, I believe I followed him because he followed me early on when I opened my Twitter account so that's the reason why I don't know him um, uh, this gentleman here, uh, Jason Freed, um, or Fried, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but um, he owns, I believe, 37signals.com. Um, I like that. He has a picture of himself, you know. i rather a picture, because I know he's actually writing this particular tweet, and uh, it's... Uh, it's it's I can relate more to that now here's an example of someone that I do know I know these these two guys here and in that case I really don't I guess I guess it's okay that I don't I don't see their faces but because I know who they are personally you know I hung out with these guys um, but um, like these these guys here I don't know them personally but they have a photo there and it means more to me uh, rather than this S here um, for a screener, um, I'm sort of uh, I sort of overlook these guys, look look these icons, and tend to follow the the photos um, because I can relate to them a little bit more. So that's my personal personal preference. I I think um, there might be more people out there that feel the same way. So in that case, I always include a picture in all my avatars so that people can relate to me a little bit better. So um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. So hopefully um, this was easy for you and you understand a little bit more about Twitter backgrounds and um, some of the best practices that I use. And I think uh, you should apply it to, to your brand. And uh, uh, best of luck. If you have any questions, if you have, need help with your Twitter background, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com or visit my website at mlwebco.com. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, please rate it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, look out for more videos and we'll be talking soon. All right. Bye.